Hello, friends. Now let's solve the brace expansion problem. A string S represents a list of words. Each letter in the word has one or more options. If there is one option, the letter is represented as is. If there is more than one option, then curly braces delimit the op options. For example, curly brace A dot uh, A. B, C represents options A, B, C. For example, uh, this string represents list A, D, E, A, D, F, B, D, E, B, D, F, C, D, E, C, D, F. So that means we can choose one letter from one curly brace. Uh, the letters between one pair of curly braces. And as the D uh, do not... Uh, uh, is not contained in a curly brace, so uh, that means in this place we only have one option, so we can only choose D. And for the third letter, we have two options, so we can pick E or F. So this problem, uh, uh, no listed curly brackets, so that will be uh, simpler. And this is a typical backtracking problem because we need to generate all the possible permutations of the string. Mm, the only thing we need to notice is that we just need to change that string to the to some form that for that is easier for us to pick to generate the different permutation. At the first, I think I may use a list uh, list uh, of the character to represent that string. But then I find we can change the list of a character to a string. So that means I just need a string list. And uh, for each position, like this is the first position, we have two options. So that place will be um, A, B. And then for the second uh, string, we just have C because it, there is only one option. And for the third place, we have D, E. Uh, so that will be a string of D. And the final place, we have F. So that means we will have a list of string a size of 4. So finally, we just try to pick one character from this list at each place of the list. And finally, once the temporary string has the size, have the length of four, we have find a permutation. We save it to our result uh, list. So um, let's write the code. So our step uh, step zero is to get the list of string. And then we just do DFS to generate uh, all the permutation. And finally, because that is return the string array, but at first we do not know the size of the string array, we will use a list result. So finally, we just change the list to the array. And uh, we also need to sort that array because we should return exographical order. So we need to sort that array. And finally, we get the result. So uh, we write the code. That will be the list, new array list. Then we will iterate this string into i equal to 0, i less than uh, uh, In order to avoid the duplicate computation, we will first get the n, that is the length of the s, i less than n i plus plus. So we just need to check whether it is equal to a uh, open curly brace. If s char at uh, i equal to the open curly brace, uh, we need to handle the many letters that uh, belong to the same position. So we will let uh, a use a pointer that I start at uh, i plus one because we want to. Uh, append these letters into a string. So at this place, we can use the string builder. String builder. 
So while this j is less than n and the s char at、uh, j not equal to the close bracket, because if e equal to the close bracket, we have go to the next、uh, position. For this、uh, position, we、uh, we need to append all these candidate letters. So. But、uh, there can also be this、uh, dot.、Uh, that should be um. So if s char at、uh, j equal to the, uh, we just、uh, let j plus plus and continue. Only when it is a character, we append that into our s b char at j. And let J plus plus. So once we are out of this loop, we have generate a string. For this example, we generate A B. So we will add that to our list. That will be S B two string. And the time J should be I should be J. Why? Because、uh, when we are out of this loop, we are at here. We are at the close curly brace. Hmm. So we write J. Why do we? Why don't we write J plus one? Because when we are out this if condition, we will let this J plus plus. So we just need to write J. If else, which means it's just one character, we just add a list, add that to the list. Um, S char at、um, I, but.、Uh, We should convert that to string, so we should add an empty string. Then we get this、uh, list. We will do DFS. We will parse this list. We also need to parse a result list. Result new array list. Result, and we also need a temporary string builder. Um, and we also need to know, uh, which. List we are a、uh, which string we are in the list、uh, string list, so we need a position. At the first, it should be zero. We are we have we are at the first string in the list, and finally we need to convert that to the string array. So the size should be the result dot size, and we also need the index. Then we iterate、uh, the. Iterate the string in the result. We also need a result string array string that will size will be size, and the result index plus plus equal to s. Do not forget to sort that result array. Finally, we return the result. So now let's implement this DFS. Function. The first will be the list. The second will be the list string result. We also need a string builder. S B is the position to mark the position in this list. So the base case should be once the S B dot length equal to the list size. That means we have generated,、uh, in this case, four characters. We add that to our、uh, string. Uh, we our our result、uh, string list. The return. If not the case, we will try to add every character in the current、uh, position. That means char c in the list gets the position. That should be a string. So we convert that to a char array and、uh, append. That C, then recursively to、uh, generate that、uh, string builder result S B position plus one, and、uh, we unchoose that、uh, place. So we set length to S B dot length minus one. Okay, seems we have finished that. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.